Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be talking about whether you should be buying RC products from China during Chinese New Year. Now I know there's going to be some people that say you shouldn't be buying RC products from China whatsoever and you should support your local hobby shop and I'll explain towards the end of the video how I ended up buying from China and not my local hobby shop because it's quite a long story. But what sparked this off was comments in my videos and also in other videos. I noticed people saying you shouldn't buy RC products from China through the whole month of February because the entire country shuts down for a month and that just isn't the case. It used to be the case that it would last 23 days but now it lasts 15 days but most companies just have a week off. So for example Banggood is having from the 2nd of February to the 9th of February off, so just a week. And Gearbest is having from the 3rd of February to the 10th of February. And Hobby King, get this, isn't even shutting down. Now you might think that the delay is caused by the shipping companies shutting down as well. But the shipping companies keep going because they are not necessarily based in China. If you think about it, if you are a shipping company, your boat doesn't have to dock in China. It could be going to Europe and it could be a European ship. Same with a plane, it could be a European cargo plane going to China and vice versa. So the delay that happens is caused by the orders that are made during that week when no one is at work and there's a bit of a backlog but it's not really much of a backlog and there is a benefit to buying during this period if you are patient. I know we live in a world where no one can wait for things these days but there are a lot of deals and offers that are put in place during this time so that they can entice people to still buy during this period and I'm going to link those in the below because it's not just RC products either. There are home appliances and mobile phones and you should see the amount of discount that some of those products are getting and that also includes RC products as well. So it really does depend whether you want something quickly or whether you can't wait for it. Now something that's interesting about Chinese New Year is that the majority of China don't call it Chinese New Year, they call it the Spring Festival. It depends where in China you are. So I think Hong Kong call it the Lunar Festival. And I've seen all sorts of dates batted around the internet, but the fact is that the dates change every year because it's based on the lunar calendar, which is different. And I think it has a 12 year cycle and each one of these years is given a name so 2019 is the year of the pig and it starts the 5th of February. So this all comes from a story where the moon completely blacks out and it causes this creature to come out and this is where the festival started and you'll often find that people wear red and bang drums and that originally was to scare this creature away and it's become a festival and they have certain things that they do on certain days but really it's a bit more like our Christmas where people migrate and they go and see their families and they have meals together and things like that but it's not what you think it changes every single year. So because this festival is based on the moon cycle it can start anywhere between the 21st of January to the 20th of February. So I wouldn't listen to any of these dates that people are making up in the comments and hopefully the dates that I have given you for the main Chinese retailers that we buy from in the RC hobby are just going to be having a week off. 
So why don't I support my local hobby shop and buy from China instead? Well, I've been in this hobby for more years than I dare to admit, but it's definitely over 25 years. And 25 years ago, the hobby was very different. You had to join a club, really, because you had to have someone to teach you how to fly because there wasn't simulators. Also, 25 years ago, the models were massive. They were nitro planes or nitro helicopters, and they had to be big because there wasn't the technology for smaller components. So the servos were massive, the receivers were massive. You had to have big NICAD batteries inside to power the receiver, and you'd have a big nitro engine at the front because lipos didn't exist and brushless motors didn't really exist either and in my area mode one was the only mode that everybody used i think mode two became more popular with helicopters and back then they weren't so popular of course they became popular and even more popular and we have quadcopters and I think that's why the majority of quadcopter pilots fly mode 2 and really it does make more sense because the controls are similar to a real helicopter so I joined a club and I bought a big nitro plane I saved up all of my pocket money I bought it myself and I actually took a break from the hobby for safety reasons. I saw someone's hand go through the propeller of a nitro engine and it was not pretty. But then when things started to get smaller and safer, I walked into my local hobby shop and I asked if they had any collective pitch helicopters because I was interested in that. I didn't really want to get into planes although I did buy a Hubson Spyhawk that was nice and small and that got me into FPV but I walked into my hobby store and said do you have any small micro collective pitch helicopters because I got a simulator and I had learned how to fly one so I thought well I can buy one and then I can fly it so I kept my transmitter but I'd sold all of my old aeroplanes and the guy in the shop said, yes, we sell these tiny micro helicopters, but you're going to have to change to mode two because everything that we sell is mode two. And they tried to sell me this helicopter and they tried to sell me Spectrum. And they said that I couldn't use my Futaba transmitter that was 35 megahertz, but it did have a module that it could go in the back. And I since learned as well that you could have put a module in the back of that and used Spectrum. But I went back home and I found Hobby King on the internet. And I found the same helicopter that I was looking at and it was half the price and they had it in mode one so everything that the guy in the local store was telling me was a lie and he said that he flew planes mode one and helicopters mode two and i know a lot of people do that so i bought this helicopter from hobby king it was half of the price that they were selling it for and i could fly it with mode one I was flying that for a little while, this was before quadcopters came out and then I noticed the Hubson H107D come out and I thought wow I really want to have a go at that. I'm going to give this hobby shop another try so I went into it and I said do you have the Hubson H107D and they said what's that. So I then found Banggood and they had it and guess what it was also mode switchable as well. It worked with my Hubson Spyhawk transmitter, which was mode one, and that is how I ended up buying from China. Now, I did go into this hobby store and they do sell quadcopters now. In fact, there are some companies to me, like Quadcopters UK, Hobby RC, Drone is Life, and there's Menace RC, there's many more so you know 
but they are all shops that aren't local to me. I can't go out and drive, but I can order online. And I do order from those companies. But I also order from China as well because it is cheap stuff and sometimes it's really good. So that is why I buy from China and I do buy locally still. There are some clubs as well that are kind of stuck with the line of sight era and don't understand that FPV adds a third dimension to this hobby and I hope one day everybody finds FPV but I know that was a long story but that is why I like to buy from China and if you are patient you should buy during the Spring Festival or Chinese New Year. So if you found this video useful I'll link to my Patreon in the below because I need all the help I can get and as always thanks so much for watching please continue to subscribe cheers